uh, as I said, is Michelle LaFontaine, Chair, Board Directors of the Pale Network. Michelle? Good afternoon, and thank you to Mr. Cole for including pregnancy and infant loss, or Pale Network as it's more commonly known as you prepare to introduce this bill. I'd like to take the next few minutes to tell you a little bit about pregnancy and infant loss from the perspective of a bereaved mother. We lost our twin babies at 20 weeks gestation, a boy and a girl. The grief we suffered was immeasurable. There were days I thought we would never experience any joy in our lives ever again. I ached for my babies. I felt this sense of detachment from the rest of the world, like I didn't belong anymore. What had happened to us was something unspeakable. We had absolutely no idea how we were going to live with this tragedy. We learned about Pale Network through a friend who had a friend who knew someone who experienced a loss. We connected over the phone and for the first time since losing my babies, I felt like someone actually understood. I began attending peer support groups and learned that my feelings were very common for those who have experienced pregnancy or infant loss. I'd like to share some of those commonalities with you now. Parents who have experienced a loss have to learn to live how to incorporate their intense grief over the loss of their baby with the intense love they feel for their baby. They will grieve deeply and they will love deeply. The two are not separate. Parents who have experienced a loss will never get over it. There is no recovery. They may look like they have their life back together. They may go on to have other children, but the baby they lost and the trauma they experienced is always one step behind. The third thing that families who have lost a baby have in common is the deafening silence that surrounds them. Friends disappear, coworkers avoid them, and society does not want to talk or think about such a tragic loss. The family's world has been shattered, but no flowers are sent, no cards are given, and no one dares to ask, how are you? People simply don't know what to say or what to do. Families who have lost a baby will never replace that child. Having more children after a loss does not ease the pain, does not make it any better, and most certainly does not replace the baby who has died. It doesn't matter if that loss was an early miscarriage, a full-term stillborn baby, or if the baby dies hours or days later. The place that baby holds in the family's heart can never be filled. Parents who have lost a baby will always live in a parallel universe. No matter how much time has gone by, when a holiday or an important event occurs, the parents who have lost their baby will wonder what it would have been like if their baby was with them. They know how old their baby would have been. They imagine what they would have done with the lives that were never realized. In speaking with a Pale Network volunteer this week, he told me a powerful story. His mother, who is 74 years old, recently disclosed to him that she lost twins more than 50 years ago. She went on to have three more children afterwards, but admitted that not a day goes by that she has not thought of her twins. At Pale Network, we have heard this from thousands of parents time and time again. Their baby is never far from their minds and always in their hearts. Parents welcome the opportunity to share their baby with others, to speak their baby's name, to be in the company of those who will honour the short but meaningful life their baby had. This need for connection has never been more evident to us as our peer-led support groups have grown from 11 groups in 2014 to 27 peer-led support groups across the province in 2015. For all the families we have helped, there are thousands more that we have not reached, and we believe that change is on the horizon. The introduction of this Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness, Research and Care Act and the awareness it brings to this issue could be the catalyst for change in Ontario as it pertains to access for services for bereaved parents when they have experienced the loss of a pregnancy or a baby. Pale Network is the leading organization in the province and we hope to ultimately introduce standards of care that would allow parents the same rights and access to services that are automatically given to parents who have given birth to a healthy baby. Parents are discharged from the hospital with a healthy newborn along with information about how to contact their local public health nurse, lactation consultant and are seen by a physician within three days of leaving the hospital. Parents who leave the hospital after their baby has died are empty-handed and in shock, yet expected to seek out support they need and somehow learn how to reconcile their loss and accommodate the loss of their baby into their lives. Stronger partnerships with Ontario hospitals can guarantee that these parents receive the follow-up care they need from trained support providers, 
and the opportunity to connect with other parents who can share in their pain and begin to provide them with the hope that they too can learn to live with their loss. In closing, I'd like to say that on behalf of all the families and volunteers of Pale Network, we believe today is an incredibly important day. Today marks what we hope will be a crucial first step to transforming the lives of mothers and their families across Ontario by giving them the support they so desperately need and deserve. Uh, thank you uh, ever so much for those uh, very powerful words, Wendy. And I, uh, I was especially struck by your reference uh, to the uh, call for standards of care mm -hmm. and equal uh, access to health care. For, for, and that, that is, I think, uh, something we've got to get out to the public loud and clear. Because I don't think the uh, public uh, uh, or the media, or even the health care uh, uh, profession and the uh, Ministry of Health officials know that there is a real sort of two-tier system mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, helping uh, mothers who uh, have a successful pregnancy and ones that uh, suffer the, uh, the tragic loss. So uh, that, I think, is something we've got to emphasize over and over again, and hopefully that uh, uh, the media out there will get this word out that, uh, you know, we're not uh, going to stand by and let this continue. And as much as uh, it's about grieving, we also want to stand up for the rights of mothers and families who go through uh, pregnancy loss. So thank you so much for your very powerful words. Thank you.